Hey yo guys, Cole Bush here, and today I am bringing to you a new game that me and Chase started playing called Call of Duty Heroes. Now, if you've never seen this game before, it's in the App Store. And basically guys, it's like the modern version of Clash of Clans. Because right here you've got your oil pumps, which would be your elixir. You've got your gold storage, which is called gold, Dep gold depot in this, oil depot, and then you've got your gold miners, which is basically the same thing as gold mines. You've got your builders, all that type of good stuff right there. And here are the heroes, which you've got the respected Captain Price, you've got Soap, Yuri, Walcott, Harper, Ghost. Lillian, Gideon, Reaper, Outrider, fuck Menendez, he can go burn himself to death. You've got Classified, and you've got Ethan, or the ETH.3N off of the new one, and then you've got Coming Soon, so there's going to be more of them coming. And basically, guys, this is my base. It's pretty simple so far. I'm waiting to get some more walls so I can finish it out. And pretty much, guys, yeah, that's basically it for this. You've got the attack mode, which allows you to go in. You can fight other players. You can go into campaign to unlock your heroes. And then you've got challenge mode. And then you've got survival mode, which has a zombie on it, which me and Chase are thinking is zombies. We hope so, because we are going to go ape shit on that. And Alliance War, me and Chase have already got an alliance started called, uh, I have to go find it here, right here, after you pair the communication center, me and Chase have started a alliance already called the CNC COD Clan, me being Kala Bush as usual, capital C-O-L, capital L-A, capital B-U-S-H, Kala Bush, and then you've got Last Hope 5. Apparently my monthly ranking is 9,305. Not too bad. But yeah, guys, that is the basic grounds of this it's kind of laggy and i have no fucking clue what that damn thing is that flies overhead some kind of jet now if i remember correctly correctly i was on the verge of wanting to upgrade this and as you can see once you get past a certain level it starts taking up to just fucking hours just like um, just like Clash of Clans, it takes up to hours to upgrade stuff. Now, with the rest of my gold, I was going to finish upgrading my walls really quickly. If I can get this to do it, let's try it the other way. Because, like, if you hold, like, somehow, if you... Put your finger on it, hold, or some shit. It's supposed to highlight it in blue. Which it ain't doing it for me, which I don't know why. It's kind of aggravating sometimes. There we go. You do that, and you can press this, and you can upgrade them all at once. Which it goes from, it uh, goes from like, wooden barriers to sandbag not to sandbags to like fences almost with a uh, barbed wire <clears throat> kind of raspy voice there and basically I need to do something with all this gold anyways because there's a lot of it and plus, I'm guessing upgrading your barriers is like the fastest way to rank yourself up. If I've seen any way. Let's 
Let's try this again. You piece of shit. No offense, guys. It's like skipping one. And I don't know why. It's kind of aggravating. There we go. Let's just do that. And yes, guys, it does take a lot of gold to do this. But, I mean, you can easily earn gold back in, like, PvP battles and doing the campaign stuff. Like, as you can see here, I need more walls. I'm running just a thin hair short. And see, it did it again. I don't know why it's skipping a wall, guys. roll with that because soon I'm going to be out of gold now let's see here if I zoom out see guys all my walls now are sandbags and it upgrades into something else at level 4 for the commander center now, with what little time I have left, I have made a capacity troop of 20 Juggernauts. And my hero at the moment is Captain Price. So, I'm going to go raiding. I'm going to do one good raid for you guys to show how like the mechanics work. And I'm going to show you a nice, cool thing that comes with Captain Price. Which Captain Price is also comes equipped with a grenade launcher. Now I'm looking at their defenses right now. Two on the sides there, two on the other sides. Let's focus in about eleven juggernauts there. And nine there. Take my hero. I can drop in two heroes. No, I cannot. We're going to use his grenade launcher and fire over there and get rid of that thing. And then, guys, here is the cool aspect of having Captain Price. You can basically do this. And it is fun as hell. It is like the coolest thing that I've seen anything do in a while. <clears throat> and you can just basically ride around in a chopper for, like, if you see right above the chopper symbol, and it's right below the oil, it shows, like, 51 energy, and you have, like, 176 energy. That's what you use to do this with, and it's pretty fun, to say the least. It doesn't last long, but it does do the damage, guys, and it is fun. Right there, one starred the opponent. Captain Price, I'm pretty sure he's down here dealing with that com uh, <clears throat> communication center. See, there it goes. And throughout each battle, you basically earn gold and oil, and you earn power which is the stuff that you use to use captain press's skills and you can also rank up captain press through pvp battles which is pretty fun to say the least and captain press also boosts the other troops that you put down he boosts them I believe he gives them, like, more attack. Check it on the video real quick. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> after this, I'm going to end the video. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a small Clash of Clans video after this, or just go straight into a vlog. One of the two, 
But yeah, see guys, it shows there the rewards. It shows like the XP that Captain Price gains from it. It's a pretty cool feature. But if me and Chase ever get into like survival mode, we will do a video on that. But without further ado, guys, <clears throat> this has been Cola Bush with you all. And I will see you all in the next video, guys.